problem. In order to prevent the might of the military from getting out of control through stealing, enslaving, murdering, and all manner of other dishonorable acts, we implemented a uniform code of military justice to specifically and clearly define the code of conduct for military personnel and the severe consequences of dishonoring that code. Military personnel now not only have to obey civil laws and foreign laws when applicable but their conduct must also adhere to the UCMJ which is their strongest restraint, one tailored specifically to them in order to prevent unconscionable acts historically observed to be committed by militaries who are completely unrestrained in such a way. We established this military safety measure and then conveniently ignored the men in charge of issuing orders to the military itself, the politicians who answer to no specific code, and to civil laws that intentionally aren't equipped to address the historically observed unconscionable acts of unethical politicians. Solution Thomas Jefferson's remedy of state nullification in answer to political tyranny was a stopgap measure to preserve our people until the argument was made to us by history itself that in order to sustain an ethical government it must be operated by those bound to a public servant's uniform code of justice that all public servants, including politicians must abide by in addition to United States civil law and their public oaths of office similar to what is required of our military personnel. Implementation 1. Form a committee of those with a proven record of honoring their oaths of public office and upholding the philosophies of non-aggressive freedom, liberty, and justice. This committee would be comprised of individuals such as Ron Paul, Gary Johnson, Judge Napolitano, Sheriff Richard Mack, Judge Gray, Stuart Rhodes, Jesse Ventura, etc who will construct a public servant's uniform code of justice to then be submitted for ratification by the sovereign people of the United States in the form of a national referendum. 2. This code will first and foremost nullify all laws not in keeping with the United States Constitution as interpreted from the firm foundation of limited government, limited taxation and maximum personal liberty through personal responsibility and community voluntarism rather than insidiously encouraged, and or forced, government dependence. The PSUCJ will lead to the prosecution of those who pushed through traitorous anti-liberty legislation, and will effectively nullify future efforts with strict penalties for political corruption, no more Patriot Act, NDAA, or Federal Reserve no lobbying and therefore no subsequent special treatment for companies such as Monsanto and Goldman Sachs who are ruining our health and economy, etc. Result. Under the PSUCJ politicians won't even be able to be taken out to lunch, they can have their family pack something up from the organic gardens at home that will be legal again because of the PSUCJs having nullified the unlawful restrictions on all such personal property rights. It would seed a new awareness of the philosophy of non-aggressive freedom, liberty, and justice, serving its key part in bringing about the rightful restoration of such principles, as the corrupt politicians mark themselves with their opposition to this code of justice. The ethical ones will call for its tonic as though freedom itself depends on it because they'll understand that it does. The ethical ones will be established into office and honorably bound by the PSUCJ for the duration of their term, and the rest will be utterly cast down, your part. This solution doesn't require anyone to fight upstream to achieve the presidency or compromise themselves by wading through an infiltrated and subverted system that clearly needs its guardians to restore it. With your support, we will soon become a wave of justice too overwhelming for entrenched corrupt politicians to withstand and the PSUCJ will severely limit their ability to internally compromise these United States ever again. Those corrupt politicians still at large during the implementation will have to submit, flee, or die. All you have to do to make this happen is to simply share and support this idea in every way you know how. Are liberty and justice worth that much to you? You can't roll back an idea whose time has come.